Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to Game of Rugs, episode 52. Today we are going to look at some scores, and we're going to look at today's daily, and we're going to submit that, and then we're going to look at some of these other crazy rooms, because I think, I think the interns might be back. I'm not really sure what's going on here. So in my inbox, I have two challenge results um, but we're going to look at my tropical villa infinity pool because it is so rubbish um, but I like could anybody else figure out what to do with these chairs these funny squat little chairs I couldn't use them in any of my furniture designs so I stuck them in my uh, my home and Basically, I'm just here for the diamonds. Thank you very much. It's getting towards the end of the month, you guys. I'm running out of diamonds. It's hard. The struggle is real. Anyway, let us look at these. I think one of them might be good because my score seems to have gone up a couple of points. Yay! Oh my gosh. That's very unexpected. But look, I want a rug. Roxy shush. I won this rug. I really like that rug. That's very cool. And um, I am really surprised by this score because, to be honest, I am terrible, like really awful, at putting together rooms made with non-matching furniture. So, I mean... This does, is, doesn't even really match that well. I put, picked the ottoman to go with the rug, and the rug goes with the couch, and the chair goes with nothing, but I figured that didn't really matter so much because you could barely see it, and at least it went with the coffee table. So this is a really weird five, but to be honest, a lot of these fives are weird. I just, I feel like I hardly ever know what's going on. So I'm very interested to see what other people did because um, mine is, is weird. Okay, let's look at these. That's much nicer. That's, that's like really well put together. It's very intentional and designed. Mine is very much not. Um, that is also really beautiful. That chair is gorgeous. The couch is beautiful. They're out, it's outdoor furniture and outdoor furniture generally doesn't do very well, but, um, it's done well in this case and it's really nice. It looks beautiful indoors. Like I would honestly be very happy to use that furniture in my house. I really like this room. I, I, I'm super partial to very clean designs. So that was a design made for me. And I've never seen that art before. What is that? That is beautiful. Oh my god, there are snoring dogs everywhere. Um, this is a limited edition from, la I guess, a year ago. Like maybe last September or October. It's a very autumnal. Indeed, it is called the Autumn Leaves Triptych. So maybe they're going to bring that back. That would be exciting. I'd be into that. I would buy that. And these are cool. Oh my god, it's got a baby pumpkin. Maple leaf table tray. Oh, this stuff is so cute. And look, it's a basket of harvest wildflowers. So maybe this was done during Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. Who knows? This stuff is great, though. I just am, I am so envious of people who can buy this stuff and hold on to it for a year. Plus, when I look at this piece of art, there are literally a million country houses, cabins, lake houses, farmhouses that I totally would have used this for before now like the willpower is strong here so um this room is lovely 
That side table is really nice next to the chair. Um, the, that couch goes beautifully with the... This couch goes beautifully with the matching chair. I mean, obviously they... Do they... Are they both... Yeah, they're the same furniture line. So, yeah, those are beautiful. Here's a lavender one. No surprise there. Uh, and lie down, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not over keen on this one, but because I don't really like the ottoman. But that's like my personal, I also hate this rug, it's the 80s rug. In every color, this is an 80s rug. Um, but... All, every single one of those rooms is better than mine. But I am, as always, happy with my five. And so I'm going to take that and spend those diamonds. And from Texas, we go to Oregon. Are you kidding me? Because this room was so much better than the other room. This room got a 4.09. And the other room got a 5. That's crazy. Why is this room so poorly scoring? Okay, I need to move this dog. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Sorry, somebody was trying to chew somebody else's face off. Um... Anyway, I'm shocked by that, and scrolling down to look at the rooms that got fives, I'm still surprised, because there are a lot of different colorways here, but, I mean, people are using matching furniture sets, and very light and neutral rugs, and... I mean, maybe we're not doing matching furniture sets anymore. Maybe that was the problem. Because this is a purple chaise couch and a green chair and lavender um, stools. And this is gray and white and... What? Like, sorry, I just have literally never been so confused by a score in my life. Maybe the problem is that my room is ugly. Is that possible? I mean, I'm not asking, is it possible that I've done an ugly room? Because God knows I've done some ugly room in my time. I just didn't think that one was ugly. I don't really see, this is green, and it's not that different. Mine is the same but pink. Maybe people hate this chair. Maybe, I so, oh, sorry. I'm just so confused. All right, so we have that one, then it's green. And we have this one, and it's mixed neutrals. And we have this one, and it's mixed purple. It does have floor decor. And this is mixed purple and black. And this is mixed neutrals. Okay, I literally have no idea what has happened here. None. I don't get it. I mean, I'm not really crushed. I like this room. Um, it's a nice use of this rug. I'm not really crushed. I'm just genuinely baffled. Huh. I don't really understand this. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, I'm just very confused. But... What are you going to do? Um, oh, but wait, what did I win? Let's look on the bright side of life. Okay. A silver end table. Well, I thought it was fine. I don't... I'm going to get over it. All right. So then the other thing from today is uh, today's daily challenge. And this was moving to Missouri and uh, they're decorating their adorable house. Now, somebody, I still think of myself as being new to this game and somebody told me um, a couple of months ago that, or a couple of weeks maybe, that the dailies are the hardest 
to get high scores and fives on because everybody enters them, so they're very competitive. That is so completely obvious. I don't know why that had never occurred to me before. But since then, I've sort of been doing a, making an effort to do a competent job on dailies so that I definitely score the daily prize, but not busting my hump trying to get a five. On this one, I tried a little bit harder because I really like the um, drapes. I really love the pattern, and it seems to be orange and gray, and I like the color of the gray. It's sort of a taupe feature wall, um, and I went out and purchased this rug to pick up on the orange from the curtains and to use with these two chairs which frankly I do really love. I think they're beautiful. Um, so I tried harder for this room than I might have for another daily. Um, so I have held on to it to show you guys before submitting it. And I'm not really sure about the art. It seemed to go with the patterns and the drapes for me. And it seems to be in the same colorways as the drapes. But I don't actually really like it. And I think the frames are kind of heavy. I got it as a level prize for hitting level 25. So I have been using it just to, um, it's free art. Who's going to complain about that? Well, just wait, I will be complaining later about other free art. Um, but it's not that bad and I am trying to use it. So I'm going to send this room off and we're going to hope for the best. I'll be very curious to see what happens. Off you go, little room. Bon voyage. I hope you do well. And then the last things I just wanted to talk about today. Scroll. Why will this not scroll? Thanks. I don't want to enter this challenge. There we go. Um, this Wayback Challenge is crazy. This room is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing for a design here, um, but I, I'm, I, I'm thinking that I want to do this just because it's such an unusual room. I would love to see the previous entries for this room. Uh, it's, what is this? Who lives in a, who lives in a house like this? Who does this? It's so bizarre. And I don't know what art you put in there. Like, is there anything that's just like a plain white orb? I'm not putting two clocks in a room, but I mean something like that. I guess these. Who knows? This whole thing is so bizarre. I just, this room cracks me up. It's so strange. And, uh, it's about it. What am I doing here? Oh, I really like this room too. But I'm struggling with the art. Ignore that. That's not going there. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to come up with a uh, another piece of art to put in this room. And also the last time I used this gold and black combination with this rug, it sank like a stone. So maybe it's terrible and I have no taste. Who knows? All right. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see future episodes, please feel free to become a subscriber. We'd love to have you. Bye.